Hey, what's up guys? Adam here with Prepare for Air, and today we're going to be looking at load calculations or load calcs, which takes into consideration the total amount of conditioned living space, heat infiltration areas so like glass windows, skylights, things like that, and it tells us the total amount of heating and cooling that we need year round in order to properly satisfy the thermostat. So we're going to dive over into my laptop for the rest of the video, and I'm going to show you guys how to run a load calc. All right, so we're over here at the load calculation software, and I'm going to link to a load calculation software below in the description as well. So if you guys want to check it out and kind of mess around with it, you can. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put an example in here for us. So that way you can follow along here as well. So the example address that we're going to use is 70 Whispering Way Northeast, uh, and that is in Atlanta, Georgia, which is the zip code 30328. So we're going to come down here and hit Home Auditor. And the load calculation software is going to input a lot of information here for us, uh, but it's going to consider the total square footage, like I talked about, the amount of sun exposure to the property, the, it's going to consider the heat, amount of heat infiltration areas, so all the things we talked about. But for right now, we're just going to cover the basics. So we're going to focus on the home energy modeling section. And there's two categories here. And the retrofitted home would be a home that has been updated in some way, whether that's better insulation in the attic or that's better window insulation, whatever it is to retrofit and kind of update the home. That would be over in this section. But again, for this example, we're going to just cover the current home kind of basics. So we're going to go over the current home. And we'll do three residents for this example, too, that works for these purposes. Um, ultimately, residents do add heat to the total load calculation. So that does affect it a little bit. But we'll keep it at three people for this example. But the main section we're going to focus on is this area right here. And the summer indoor temp is the first one. So... This is ultimately what we want in the summers to keep our indoor temperature at. So we're going to set this to 72. 75 is pretty high, so we're going to keep this at 72 because we want to at least maintain a 72 degree indoor air temperature when it is the summer outside because it is very hot here in Georgia. So the next one is the summer outdoor temperature. So again, very hot here in Georgia. So I'm going to bump that up a touch. We want it to be able to support year round, even up to those days when it gets to be 95 degrees outside. Um, so then coming down here along those same lines, we got the winter outdoor temperature. So very rarely does it get below this, but 10 degrees, I think, is a good threshold. Um, there's very few days in Georgia that it is going to get below that 10 degree parameter. So we're going to set our winter outdoor temperature to be 10 degrees there. So that way, even on the coldest 10 degree days, we can still support that thermostat. So coming up here, once that's all inputted, the load calculator is going to give us a bunch of information over here. So we'll start here with the heating load right here. So in order to properly satisfy the thermostat year round, we need 40, at least 46,000 BTUs worth of heat per hour. So we need at least a 45,000 BTU furnace in order to year round support the heating load for this property. The next one's a little bit different. We got the cooling load. So this is actually going to be in terms of what we can remove. So in order to properly satisfy the thermostat, we need to remove at least 34,344 BTUs of heat per hour. So as we talked about in the previous video, which was talking about sizing your unit, the per one ton of AC takes out 12,000 BTUs of heat. So if we took that number and divided it by 12,000, it's going to give us 2.8-ish, kind of right in that range. So essentially, we need at least a 3-ton unit in order to properly satisfy the thermostat year-round. So it, the 3-ton unit is going to remove up to 36,000 BTUs of heat per hour, so that fully satisfies that 34,000. So not super complicated here on the load calc. Again, we're kind of just diving into the basics of it. But if you guys have any questions over the load calculation software, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below here. And if you have any other HVAC related questions, 
then go check out the Prepare for Air channel um, or page and leave some questions and comments over there and I'll make sure to get to every one of them. But I appreciate you guys watching and if you liked the content then don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I will get you guys another video here as soon as possible. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day.